Hi, folks. Welcome to Steamworks, um, season one, all about cars. I'm Simona, and I'm here at Fluxspace in our makerspace. Um, so for our first episode, we're going to be making a mousetrap car. Um, I have all my materials here. I have some tools I'm going to need to make the car, um, some scissors and an X-Acto knife and, some, and my glue gun. Um, I have my very important mouse trap. I have some CDs um, and I have some wooden dowels and some zip ties and a single straw, um, these two pieces of wood and some popsicle sticks. Um, and then finally I have some fishing line, which is going to be super important. So we're going to start by making the frame of our car. The frame is going to be made up of these two pieces of wood, which I already drilled holes in on either end in both of them. Um, and we're also going to use these three popsicle sticks. Um, I already cut them. They're not exactly the same length, but they're approximately three inches. Um, this car, as you can tell, is going to be really long and really narrow. Um, so we don't have too much air resistance um, when we're driving. So I'm going to start by hot gluing um, these popsicle sticks to our frame. We want these popsicle sticks to be as perpendicular as possible, because otherwise the whole car will be a parallelogram, um, and then it won't go in a straight line. It'll veer to the left or to the right. Um, so that's definitely something you want to be mindful of. Um, but I'm just putting glue on both sides of this popsicle stick, trying to avoid too much of a mess with the hot glue strings. So while that dries, I'm going to talk about the next step of this car, um, which is adding in this straw. Um, I'm going to glue this straw in to where the holes are in the frame. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the inside here. Um, and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. Um, to pop this off. There we go. All right, I'm going to do the other side as well. Hopefully I won't embarrass myself here. Nice. Let's go on to the back. Um, so the back of the frame is going to be this side. And instead of putting the straw all the way across, we're just going to put a straw inside these two wooden sticks. Um, and you'll see why in a little bit. Um, so we're going to do the same thing here, just glue this into place, just a little bit of glue there. Um, so that's the first one, you can't even see it in there. Um, I'm going to do the other one now. So we're cutting this straw as well, um, and there we go, that's the frame to our car. So we're going to move on to the wheels now. Um, as I mentioned before, we're using these CDs as wheels. And CDs have a pretty big hole in the middle of them. Um, it'll be kind of hard to stick them to our axle, which is this tiny little dowel. And so I'm going to start by gluing these little cardboard squares onto the CD. So let's start with that. Um, I'm just going to put some dabs of hot glue onto this cardboard here. So this is our very first wheel right here. Um, so I'm using this dowel, this very thin wooden dowel. Maybe it's made of bamboo, I don't know. Um, it has a point at the end, um, which comes in really handy because I'm going to be able to skewer the exact middle of my CD here. I'm going to try not to poke myself again. Um, and there we go. This is the beginning of our first wheel. Um, so I'm going to glue this in place. The key to building any car um, is that the, the axle and wheel are completely perpendicular to each other. Um, and so as this dries, I have to be really careful to hold on to it um, so that it doesn't dry at an angle. Because if it dries at an angle, the car is going to veer from side to side. A few moments later. Alrighty, so this is pretty much dry. Um, so instead of just gluing the second wheel onto this right away, I'm actually going to put this dowel through the frame right here. So we get that first wheel on the car. Um, and that's because we're going to put the second wheel on the other side. 
Um, so just like I did before, I'm gonna stab a hole right in the middle. And I'm actually gonna flip this over so that the cardboard is on the inside. So there we are. Um, we've got our two wheels on the car. Um, and I'm just gonna make sure there's enough space um, on either side so the wheels don't bump into the frame as the car is rolling. Um, and so just like I did before, I'm gonna use my glue gun um, and I'm gonna add some glue right here, um, attach the wheel to the axle, to our bamboo skewer, um, and I'm gonna make sure it dries as perpendicular as possible so that the car will drive straight later on. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna use these absolutely insane scissors we have here in our maker space um, to cut the dowel. Um, and I'm gonna cut it as close to the wheel as I can. Snip it right there. Oop. And our dowel flew off the table. Um, maybe I'll try to avoid that. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the back of our car. I'm gonna glue first one wheel, then I'm gonna put it through the frame, and then I'm gonna glue the other wheel. Two days later. Um, all right, so we've got our wheels on here, um, and we're gonna move on to the mousetrap. This arm here that provides a ton of force across a really small distance. It just goes from here to here. Um, so that's really good. We wanna use that power, um, but we wanna use that power across a really long distance because we want our car to move as far as possible. So in order to do that, we're gonna use this dowel. Um, so I'm gonna use these two zip ties here um, to zip tie the dowel onto the mouse trap. So we've got our first zip tie on here. Get it real snug. Um, the second one goes over here. I'm putting these on in different directions. Um, so it was an accident, but I don't think that matters. It's just about making sure that this dowel is stuck to the mousetrap as well as possible. All right, so we're gonna use my crazy scissors again um, to snip those off. Um, one and two, all right. Our mouse trap is gonna go on the front of our car. And the front of our car is the one, the side where I put the full straw and two popsicle sticks. And I put the two popsicle sticks so that the uh, mouse trap can go right on top of them. Um, so I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna put some glue on each of these popsicle sticks and then I'm gonna stick the mouse trap right on there. So as that's drying, we can see that this lever now is using the same force that the mousetrap was previously using, um, but it's going from this point all the way at the end of the car, all the way to like eight inches past the front of the car. So that will propel our car significantly further than if we just use the mousetrap. Um, so our next step is to use our fishing line. The fishing line is the string that we're gonna use to attach our lever to the back axle. We're gonna start by tying the first end of the fishing line to the end of our dowel here. Um, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue to make sure it's really in place as well as possible. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue there to make sure that stays. And I'm gonna snip the end. Um, just so there's no extra weight. So I'm not gonna cut the fishing line quite yet, but you want your fishing line to be long enough to go from the very tip of the dowel all the way to the rear wheels. Um, so I'll give myself a little bit of space and cut it here so I can put the spool away and then we'll cut it to the actual length we want a little later. The very last step in this car is gonna be to add your last zip tie. And this zip tie is gonna go on the rear wheel of this car where you have the axle showing. We're gonna put this zip tie onto this axle and we're gonna put a loop in our fishing line. So just like before, we're gonna use these crazy scissors to cut the zip tie. Um, we want the fishing line to reach this new zip tie that we added. Um, and we actually want it to 
end in a loop. So I'm gonna cut this right about here and I'm gonna add a slip knot at the very end of this um, so that we have a loop at the end of our fishing line. Make that little loop. Fishing line is kind of invisible, so I don't know if you can see that, um, but that's what it looks like. Um, and it's the perfect length to go around our rear axle. So let's see if everything works here. So I'm gonna loop the fishing line around our zip tie. So let's give it a go. And as you can see at the very end, the fishing line pops off, but these wheels keep spinning. Um, and that's exactly what we want. We want the car to keep moving forwards and using its inertia to keep traveling, even if the mousetrap has extended all the way. So there we have it. This is our mousetrap powered car. Um, she's not super cute, um, but she works, which is pretty cool. Uh, next week we're going to be making rubber band powered cars, so stay tuned, that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, if you followed along and made your own car, um, please put a link in the comments. Um, and if you have any suggestions for how I could make this car better, uh, please let me know. See you next week.